It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi, guys, and welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, before we get, well, let's get to the video, and then we'll talk. Uh, today... <laughs> I'm getting kind of greedy here with my time. Today's video is on Barbara Eden's uh, visit to Mayberry and how it's hardly the only interesting thing about that episode. There's some pretty cool things about the episode. Well, not cool per se, but neat. That'd be a word I would be used, right? Uh, let's look into it, see what they got. Dick Elliott portrayed a mayor so often on screen that the actor probably received write-in votes in real elections. Born in 1886, the rotund, reedy-voiced performer had the perfect traits for playing small-town bigwigs. He first played a fictional mayor in The Worst Woman in Paris in 1933. The Boston native was quickly typecast. You can find him as a mayor in El Dorado in 1935, Silly Billies in 36. The town went wild in 44. Texas Jamboree in 46, High School Hero in 46, The Son of Rusty in 47, Adventures of Wild Bill Hickok in 1952, The Lone Ranger in 53, The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet in 57, and Death Valley Days in 59. Almost suspected that the mayor of Halloween Town in the night before Christmas was modeled on his persona. But Elliot would be best remembered as Mayor Pike, the man in charge of Mayberry on The Andy Griffith Show. Uh, sporting an old-fashioned bow tie and leading with blustery style, Mayor Pike is seen uh, in just under a dozen early episodes of Andy. His final appearance came in season two, The Manicurist. That episode aired mere weeks after his death, uh, around Christmas time in 61. Andy Grippa Show replaced him with Parley Bear, played Mayor Stoner, with no explanation. Manicurist has also provided our final glimpse of another charming Mayberry resident, the elderly Emma, played by Cheerio Meredith. Season one, she is known as Emma Brand. Uh, for no re good reason other than a lack of continuity, she's uh, named Emma Watson in The Manicurist. And the end of the episode, she becomes a matronly manicurist in town after the seductive Ellen Brown departs. Meredith passed away on Christmas Day in 64. Which brings us to Barbara Eden. Uh, her role as a titled manicurist would be her only appearance in Avery. Few years later, of course, she became part of television legend herself as Jeannie on I Dream the Genie. At the time, she was coming off a lead role in the now forgotten How to Marry a Millionaire. Now, there's one more fascinating tidbit about the manicurist, and that would be one of her male customers. Well, male customer. Uh, literally, the Mayberry man you see getting his nails done uh, and is another, none other than Colin Mayo, the announcer heard in the opening credits. This is a voice you hear from the Andy Grimma show at the start of every episode. There's a small speaking role as a game warden in 1964 episode, Andy and Helen have their day. But this is the first time we see his face in Mayberry. A lot of stuff happened in that episode, right? <laughs> uh, I, I don't mean to offend when I said neat, okay? I just, uh, you know what I mean. I didn't mean to offend, so please don't take offense to that uh, being Cheerio and, and uh, Dick Elliott passed away. But it's just kind of wild that that many stuff happened from one episode and right then, you know. Anyway, uh, before we go, I want to ask you to please share these out. And uh, viewership's been down the past few days. Probably uh, people taking vacations and stuff, and that's fine. Uh, I'm just want to make sure everybody's still cool with the with the channel and if you got something you want to see please let me know and I will do my best uh, to oblige uh, and please check out classic TV facts and trivia and classic rock and country music facts and trivia there's some good stuff over there you might like um, the description uh, down in the description below this video you open that up and there's where the links are to uh, those uh, channels also, uh, we have been doing, um, 
a daily a trivia question, which is kind of fun. And a lot of people have been doing that. And I want to say thank you for that. I'm really enjoying that as well. There will be some mornings where it might be late because I am working regularly now. It's my this season that I'm work. I'm a seasonal guy in my business. Uh, so sometimes it may be later in the day, but normally it'll be early morning, like when I put these out. So I hope you guys sticking with me. Uh, I love you guys. I really do. Have a great day. God bless. And as always, be praying for you.